Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to make After Effects background in Canva, so let's get started. Here on Canva's homepage, we're going to choose a file type, so if you're okay with this standard 1080 by 1920 video format, then you can scroll over here and select video so that you'll be taken to the Canva editor. In case you want to make something bigger than that or you want to create something with specific dimensions, then go to the custom size button right over here and input your desired dimensions and choose your desired unit from here. Then click on create new design for you to be taken to the Canva editor. So we're just going to work with the uh, standard one today. We're going to click on video and let's wait for the Canva editor to load up. And so here we are. Let's start creating our background. You can design your background however you want to, so be creative with it. It depends on what kind of background you're trying to make. It could be um, a nice colorful background or it could be a kid's background. Um, it could also be a formal background, such as a news background. So yeah, it depends on what you're trying to create. As for me, we're just going to try to create a colorful background today. So yeah, let's get started. Um, you can actually start however you want to or what, whatever you want to start with. But in my case, I'd like to start with the background. Um, so I'm going to click on our uh, page over here and go to the color button right over here at the top. We can choose to use um, a solid colors or we can also choose to use gradient colors. And if ever you want to change the um, colors of your gradients, go up and click on this plus button. And from here, you can choose one color from your gradient and change it to another. And not only that, you can add as many colors as you want for your gradient. And you can also change your gradient style. But as for me, I think I just would like to use a plain color because I think it's easier on the eyes. So I'd like to go with this, but I'd like to make it something like that. Okay, that should be fine. And now it's time for us to add our elements. So let's go to elements right over here. I'm going to try to search for a zigzag and go to graphics. Uh, by the way, you can choose to add just static elements to your design, or you can also choose to add animated elements to your design. Now, once you go to the elements section, most of the graphics you'll see are still graphics or graphics that don't really move if you want to filter your search so go to the filter button here and scroll down and click on animated once you do that you'll be shown some awesome animated elements once you see them you can use them or add them to your design I'm going to duplicate this one, put the, the other one over here. Perhaps we could do that. Well, obviously you can do a much better job than I'm doing here. Um, we're just going to, yeah, put that there. And I'd like to change this color to white. Duplicate it, add another one over here. Now I'm going to be adding another element, so I'm going to try to look for a blob over here and go to graphics. Just going to choose a random one. Or maybe we could use this. So I'm going to go to position and send it backward. And, oh, okay, maybe not. I'd like to use something, uh, specifically a graphic element, because image elements, you can't unfortunately change their colors individually. And we need to tweak our colors. So I guess we're not going to be using that. 
about this one. Just going to change its color to something that would match our theme over here. So what about that? A dark purple. And let's send it... Okay, maybe not. I think that should be fine. So basically, keep on adding elements to your background until you're happy with it. And if you like, you can actually add animations or animated effects to your elements. So click on an element and go to the Animate button over here. You can choose from basic animations here. They have several available. So for basic, they have Rise, Pan, Fade, Pop, Wipe, Breathe, Baseline, Drift, and Tectonic. For Exaggerate, they have Tumble, Neon, Scrapbook, and Stump. And for Motion Effects, they have Rotate, Flicker, Pulse, and Wiggle. I think Wiggle is cute, so maybe we can do that. And you can actually adjust the intensity of it, but unfortunately, this feature is only available for those with Canva subscriptions. So I'm just going to adjust the intensity of our wiggle here. And I think that's okay. I'd like to copy that um, exact style, so perhaps I'm going to copy style and paste it here. Does it actually do it? I don't think so. I think we have to individually add animated effects to our element. So let's try it with this one. I think we chose Wiggle. And by the way, you can actually um, select for motion effects. For motion effects only, you can actually, actually select multiple motion effects for the same element if you want to. But I'm not going to be doing that. I think that's going to be over the top. <laughs> so I'm just going to add wiggle, adjust the intensity to something like this. And I think that's okay. And by the way, you can actually also create an animated path for your element. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So from the same button on the animate button, click on create an animation. So it's very important for us to read the tips here because they, they might be useful depending on uh, what type of animated path you're trying to create for your element. So hold shift while dragging to create straight lines. Control the speed of your animation by moving the element faster or slower. Stop dragging the element to complete your animation. Let's try it out. So I'm going to try to create a straight path for this element over here. That means holding shift would be useful so that our element won't be wobbly. So let's do that. Let's hold shift and let's hold our element. Oh, okay. I think it actually won't move unless your element is fully visible. So let's delete the path and let's do it again. Shift and move it just like that there you go and you can actually choose from three movement styles you've got original smooth and steady you can also orient element to path but this is not going to be visible since we've only created a straight path for our element but I'm going to show you what it means later on. Next, you have speed. So you can adjust the speed of your element right over here. You can make it faster by dragging it more to the right or slower by dragging it more to the left. Okay, let's click on done. Let's apply the same thing over here. So animate, create animation. Let's, let's see if we can hold shift over here. Ah, uh, yes, we can. And let's adjust our speed. We're going to go with smooth. And done. Okay, let's try to play it. 
<laughs> I think it's too wobbly. But anyway, this is just a sample and just to show you how to, yeah, do things. But anyway, we're gonna try to animate this element instead now. So I'm gonna go to animate and create an animation. We're not gonna be holding shift today since we are going to, um, we're not gonna be creating a straight line path. So I'm just going to move this around like that. And as you can see, we've moved it. And if you orient it to path, it's going to look something like that. <laughs> really crazy. But we're not going to do that. I'm just going to go with smooth. And for the um, motion effects, I'd like to leave it blank. And click on done. So basically, you can um, keep on repeating the process over and over again until you finish creating your After Effects background. And yeah, once again, obviously, you can do a much better job than I did here. This is looking like a mess right now, but yeah, that's just um, an example, a quickly done example. So once you're done creating your background, you can then download it by going to the Share button right over here. Go to download and for your file type, make sure to select MP4 video. And if you're a pro user, you can actually adjust your video background or background video that you created here uh, to maximum quality. So you just um, drag this slider over here and it'll be downloaded in 4K or Ultra HD. And it's going to look good on larger screens. Once you're done, you can click on download. And once it's downloaded, you're ready to use it as your After Effects background. And basically, that's it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. And you guys have a great day.